NFTs have gone through this kind of phase where first they were art, then they've kind of turned into this PFP craze. Now it feels like we're sort of entering this gaming asset craze. People are starting to learn that, hey, there's more and more to NFTs than, to Ben's point, just a JPEG, right? And I think we, we've started, started to see this natural evolution of people learning and just becoming more and more educated that at the end of the day, an NFT is just a token, right? It's a token that can represent something um, that's non-fungible at the end of the day, right? And so I think once you start really opening your mind to that, you start to see how many things in the world are actually non-fungible, which in fact, it's most everything, right? Rather than, um, you know, the only things that are truly fungible are, you know, currencies at the end of the day. Um, So I think that's where it starts to get exciting. And to me, NFTs in Web3 play this like representation role. It's it's an underlying piece of tech that can represent something, anything, be it a gaming asset, be it, you know, a, a lean to your home in the future, an insurance stock, whatever it is. And I think over time, over the next five, 10 years and beyond, as these standards start to develop, as these platforms continue to develop, as projects like all of ourselves up here continue like pushing forward innovation, it's going to really come to fruition. And these these ways of kind of pilling people into the technology like are like PFPs, like gaming assets, are what sort of on-ramps them into just an underlying piece of tech in the same way that HTTPS protocol runs the internet, but nobody actually understands that, right? Mm-hmm.